If you have a short PHP script that contains a form, and you want to process that form in the same script, then you need to detect whether the form has been submitted or not. Consider this form. It contains one input with an associated label and a submit button. In the browser, it looks like this. The form uses the post method with no action specified, so it will be submitted to itself. Here at the top of the script, before the HTML starts, we want to detect the form submission and process it accordingly. You might want to save some data to the database, send an email or whatever. We'll just exit the script and display a message. As the form uses the post method, any data from the form will be placed in the post superglobal. So first, let's try an if statement with just the post variable as the condition. An empty array is the Boolean equivalent of false, so can we do it this way? If I check the box and submit the form, we get the message. However, if I uncheck the box and submit the form, it doesn't work. This is because an unchecked checkbox isn't sent as part of the form, only if it's checked. So checking the post array like this won't work for forms that only have checkboxes. One way to fix this could be to add a name to the submit button. Doing this means that the submit button will be submitted as part of the form data with this name. You could even check for this being set in the post array using the isSet function like this. Let's see if that fixes it. Now if I try and submit the form without checking the box, it detects it. So you could do it this way, but you'd have to always remember to add a name attribute to the submit button. Also, this will only work if you're submitting the form using this button. Let's add another button outside of the form. This button will submit the form using JavaScript. So let's add the script to do that. And all this client-side JavaScript does is submits the form when this button is clicked. Let's give that a try. If I don't check the box and submit the form using the original submit button, then the form submission is detected as before. However, if I use JavaScript to submit the form instead, it's not detected. This is because this button is only submitted as part of the form if it's clicked. So checking the post array like this is not the way to detect if the form has been submitted or not. The standard and reliable way to do it is to check the request method element of the server superglobal. So we'll change this to check that value instead and compare it with the literal string post. Make sure you put request method in uppercase as it is case sensitive. Let's also remove the name attribute from the send button so we can confirm it works without that too. Let's give that a try. If I don't check the box and use the regular submit button, it detects the form submission. If I submit the form using script, it also works. Likewise, if I check the box and submit the form using either method. So if you're using a form with the post method and you want to detect if the form has been submitted or not, then the best way to do it is checking the server request method like this.